Let's look at the second part of the CNS, the spinal cord. We spoke about earlier how the spinal cord is an extension of the medulla. It extends from the occipital bone to the space in between the lumbar vertebrae where it tapers into a cone called the cona medullaris. It is encased by the vertebral column as well as the meninges which protect it. Damage to the spinal cord can have very significant effects including paralysis. This is because the nerves running through it carry sensor signals to the brain, the afferent pathway, and motor signals to the periphery of the body. The afferent pathway, without it, there would be no connection between the brain and the body. In addition to this, the spinal cord also controls some of the most basic reflexes through nerve arcs present at various levels. Let's cut the spinal cord and take a look at its cross section. You will see that it is an oval structure with a butterfly-like shape. This butterfly is grey because it houses all the nerve cell bodies. The two wings of the butterfly directed backwards are called the dorsal horns or the posterior grey columns. Looking at the other two wings, you will see that they have a small lateral extension as well as one facing forward. The lateral extensions are called the lateral horns or the lateral grey columns and those facing forward are called the ventral horns or the anterior grey columns. Now, this grey matter is surrounded by white matter which is the myelinated axons of the nerve cells. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's, the learning app today.